Hi, my name is Yurai and I am the skincare stan. You might know me from TikTok where I talk a lot about uh, my acne journey, skincare, and how I got to accept the fact that my face will always have a little bit of acne, a little bit of scarring, and that it's actually okay. So today I want to talk about something really important when it comes to skincare, and that is how long do you have to wait to see those results from your favorite skincare products. Now I know, I know, we're all impatient, we all want instant results, we want to throw on a cream and overnight and wake up like with glossy glowy skin however the reality is you know physics it's not gonna happen it's just not real so if somebody's telling you on tiktok like showing you an overnight transformation it's a filter baby moving away from tiktok and moving into reality and that is you in your bathroom doing your skincare i want to tell you that your skin needs time and i would recommend somewhere between four and eight weeks for your skin to actually reap those benefits of your new skincare products now your skin is on a perpetual cycle it renews itself and that renewal process takes about 28 days or a little bit less or a little bit more depending on your age and if you just put on a new product and use it for a couple of days and then stop, you're not going to let your skin grow and evolve with the new product that you just bought. It's just going to be a waste of your time and unfortunately money. Now, how are you going to know whether your skincare product isn't working or whether you maybe have irritation? Your skin might break out a little or you might not see a significant improvement. However, if you like see redness or if your skin feels like it's burning from applying your products then you know it's time to stop now for me personally what I like to do is always introduce one new product at a time I never use like three new products at the same time because in the case I have irritation or a reaction to one of them I am not going to know which one of these products is causing that you're probably going to get a couple new products and going to introduce it and try to see where it takes you so what I'm telling you you know do it one by one, give it four to eight weeks and see what happens. However, this is not the case for every single product. Now I'm going to tell you which part of your routine requires a longer time investment to see if it works and which parts of your routine you can figure out after one or two use if they're right for you. So let's go over it. Let's start with cleansers. Now, cleansers are super important. We all know that. We love cleansing. However, when it comes to cleansers, they can be quite harsh and quite stripping. If they are stripping, your skin barrier is going to get disbalanced and you might get breakouts, irritation, redness, rosacea, and all kinds of other things you do not want. So the good thing when it comes to cleansers is that you're going to immediately know if they are too harsh. If the cleanser is too harsh, you're going to feel that really tight, uncomfortable. I mean, I bet you felt it. You're going to know that feeling of just feeling your skin like it's going to crack. That's not a good thing. That is a thing that the cleanser is too stripping for your skin type and that you should look for something a little bit more gentle. I recommend always looking for something without like SLS or other ingredients that are known to be very stripping, unless you're like really oily and need that cleansing boost. But for most people, that's going to be too harsh. Now with cleansers out of the way, let's talk toners. Now there are two types of toners ones that are just you know moisturizing and going to hydrate your skin and another kind that is going to do something active to your skin like exfoliate or maybe some of them are even going to have retinol i've seen it all and it's going to be a completely different time frame between those two products now for those hydrating ones you're going to see results pretty immediately but those with actives i mean think of them as serums it's going to take a while to know if the active ingredient is agreeing with your skin and if it's helping you out sometimes it's even going to have a period where you're going to purge things might get worse before they get better at first now what about serums when it comes to serums, once again, we have two different types of serums. Those who are like hydrating or soothing, that type, you're going to know immediately. It's not rocket science. Is it giving you the hydration boost? Is it calming down your skin if it has like centella or something or alloy? However, when it comes to serums with active ingredients, 
ordinary, I'm looking at you, you're going to need some time to really figure out whether it's working out for you or not. I mean, if it's a retinol serum or if it's a serum with some sort of exfoliating acid in it, it's going to take about one to two skin cycles. So that's four to eight weeks for you to know if it's working out for you. In my opinion, for retinols, it's going to take even longer. I mean, for me, it took about four months to start seeing the benefits of retinol. Now let's talk acne-fighting ingredients, stuff like benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin. Now, those are pretty hardcore. I mean, they're not for everyone. You have to remember that you're gonna have to talk to your dermatologist and see if they're right for you. However, when done properly, they can start working in four to 12 weeks, even more in some cases. In my case, when I was on retinol, when I was on benzoyl peroxide, it took about six months. So sometimes you just have to be very, very persistent. And I know it's hard. I know those initial breakouts really affect you and you might feel sad, you might feel worried, but if there is no excess irritation, I say you stick it out and see where it takes you. And I think, you know, through skincare, it's a great way to learn patience too, because the results are so visible. Now, let's talk moisturizers. It is usually the final step in our evening routine, and it is something we use to really lock in all those good ingredients that we've just put on our face and make sure our skin is nice, supple, and moisturized. However, for moisturizers, it can be a struggle to find the one that is right for you. And this is because it is especially important to find the moisturizer that has the right texture for your skin type. So sometimes it takes really four to five tries to find that one moisturizer that's going to like nicely sink into your face, that is going to make you moisturized and glowy but not over oily, that's going to give you the hydration boost that you need and not leave you dried out. So I think that for moisturizers, it takes about two weeks to really see if it's breaking you out, if it's giving you any sort of bad reaction, if it's giving you blackheads, because sometimes moisturizers can give you blackheads. If your skin is really oily, if a moisturizer is too occlusive, it can really trap that dirt and oil and, and really give those blackheads a chance to grow. So when it comes to moisturizer, I'd say give it two weeks. Two weeks of using a moisturizer of course unless you're having a bad reaction something like an allergy also another note i really like moisturizers that are simple that don't have any active ingredients in them something that is just humectants a little bit of moisturizing agents something that's going to give your product a nice slip because i don't think you need a lot of active ingredients in your moisturizer it should be just simple and straight to the point now, let's talk sunscreen. Sunscreen is something that is obviously a long-term investment. You're protecting your skin from skin cancer, you're protecting your skin from premature aging, so it's going to take quite a long time to see those benefits. However, those benefits are magical. But let me tell you, if you are using your sunscreen regularly, you're also going to get another benefit. You're going to get less hyperpigmentation, especially if you have acne or if you are prone to sunspots. After summer, you're going to see an immediate reduction of hyperpigmentation or sunspots if you're using your sunscreen regularly. So if you are worried about that, that is another great reason to apply sunscreen every single day. So so now that we got all of the skincare staples out of the way and the amount of time it takes for them to work, I hope this is a little demystified for you guys. I hope that you know that if your product isn't working for you, you don't have to throw it away immediately and move on to the next product. You don't need to buy more products and spend more money. You don't need to buy more products and create more waste. So come on, give it time to work. Ultimately, your skin might be thankful for it, and you might discover a new holy grail product. I mean, we all love that. We all love discovering that one product that is just perfect for your skin. And you might never know. If you throw away your holy grail product before it had time to work, it's, it's such a shame, right? You would be so mad about it. I would be too. So please, be patient. Four to eight weeks. Bye.